everyone, I'm Hosey and welcome to my channel, Hosey's Corner. Today my husband and I are on our way to an Asian grocery store called iFresh. iFresh in North Miami Beach. I think it just opened this year. And I can tell you it's my favorite Asian grocery store so far. I've been living here in Miami, Florida for about a year and a half now. And coming from California where Asian stores and restaurants are in abundance, this really makes me excited because it gives me a little bit of my hometown. I actually heard that this iFresh um, store and the plaza that it's in is supposed to be where the new and official Chinatown is in Miami, Miami and Miami Beach area. So I'm not sure when they're actually going to construct the Chinatown gate, but I think it's supposed to be there. So today I'll be taking you on a tour of what this grocery store has to offer and what kind of goods we're gonna be buying and trying at home. We are here at iFresh. Yeah, I'm gonna be showing you around and all the goods that they have here. I was so excited because there are so many vegetables, Asian vegetables that I was unable to find at other Asian grocery store in Miami. Many items here go great with hot pot, Korean barbecue, just anything you can think of, they have it here, at least the essentials. Look at the size of these jackfruits. I think they're one of the biggest jackfruits that I've actually seen in general. It's so cool that they have these exotic fruits here in Miami at this particular grocery store. Now I know this doesn't look the greatest, but I did grow up eating balut, um, which is basically a partially born chicken egg or Egg, of course, and uh, I still think it's delicious, but I can see why some folks might be disgusted by it. So I'm here at the dumpling section. It's basically this row here and that row over there. And wow, I'm gonna try and count how many different varieties they have here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick out some that Daniel and I are gonna try at home. All right, so it's time to make a selection and all I have to go off of right now is packaging. This looks good, so we're gonna get some pork show mai. Let's see what else is there. There's still more pork show mai. I mean, I guess I could try different pork show mai and see which one is the best. So we'll take this one. And this is pork and shrimp wonton. I think that falls within the category, so we'll take this as well. So as I mentioned earlier, there are like two rows just dedicated specifically to dumplings. In this row, there's essentially a variety of fish balls and this would be great for anyone who's doing hot pot or I guess when they're defrosted for frying as well. They have some really interesting stuff there. I mean, what is this pork meat paste used for? I think I'm gonna have to go home and Look it up. Okay, what is pork meat paste? The process entails pureeing or grinding the carcass left after the manual removal of meat from the bones and then forcing the slurry through a sieve under pressure. This puree includes bone, bone marrow, skin, nerves, blood vessels, and the scraps of meat remaining on the bones. Well, I think I'm gonna just be buying the finalized product going forward, but good to know what pork meat paste is. 
All right, so back here in this last aisle, when you walk through um, the grocery store to the very right is an entire row dedicated to just bun. And the variety here. Ooh, green onion. I love green onion pancakes. They have that here too. Maybe I will try some. So let's see what we can find here. I think I'll get this one. It has some English instructions on the back, which is very helpful for me, especially making it for the first time. So I'll try these green onion pancakes. And let's see what else it is. there is to have. Whatever I can fit in my freezer is what I'm, I'm essentially trying to get right now. We just finished grocery shopping and I think we did a pretty good overall haul today. Obviously, there's a lot of impulse buying, but we did get some, some, uh, some dumplings to try. And then we actually got a lot more sweets than I anticipated. So we'll be trying and letting you know how those are at home. Okay, now that I've cleaned everything and put everything away, I am going to now try these items that we bought from uh, iFresh Grocery Store. We have two pancakes. One of which is a chive, and the other is a green onion. And then we'll also be trying the pork-related dumplings that I bought at the grocery store. So we have one pork show mine, just pork straight up. And we have a pork and mushroom show mine. So this is pork and shrimp, and we'll be trying that as well. I'm in my kitchen, and we're about to cook. Mais are finished steaming and they smell legit. They smell really good. Do you guys smell your food before eating? Because I do. It smells really good. Now, obviously, these are the pork and mushroom shiomai, and this is just the pork shiomai. When I look at it visually, this is what I'm used to when I go to the Chinese um, dim sum restaurant. This is not what I'm used to, but let's see how it tastes. Again, I know I'm probably gonna be a bias towards the, the mushroom, but I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna try the one without the mushroom first. The smell is not as strong. That was some cartilage in the in the show my. Um, my thoughts on it definitely lacks like a depth of flavor, lacks the umami that you're used to when getting show my. It tastes okay. It's one of those things where you would have to take it and dip it in a sauce. I have some lekum ke hoisin sauce here and some sriracha sauce. So let's see if that tastes better with that. I like both, a little bit of hot and sweet. This piece was better, and it definitely tastes better with the sauces, but the sauces kind of overpower the siu mai. So I think without the sauce, I'd probably give it a five, maybe a four out of 10, just because there's so many 
chill my packages that you can get out there. You don't have to settle for less. So let's try now the mushroom. I'm gonna have it with the sauce first. It tastes much better. You definitely get the mushroom coming through. The pork flavor is good. And it's a bit greasy, which is good because again, that reminds me of going to a Chinese restaurant and actually ordering siu mai from the carts that are brought by that you, that you can eat during dim sum. So the smell is still good too, even after being out of the steamer for a few minutes. Now I'm gonna try it without any sauce. It's still very good. Okay, so since we're all in quarantine, if I had a choice to stay at home and eat this, I would, because it definitely gives me that, that umami from what you would usually get when, when going to a Chinese restaurant and ordering shiu mai. Probably give it about a seven out of 10, just because I think I'm used to more um, bigger and bolder flavors when it comes to shiu mai, but this is a good buy. Now the pork and shrimp and wontons are done. Now they don't give as much of a smell, but if you get close to it, you can smell the wrapper and it smells definitely like pork and shrimp wonton. So let's give it a try without sauce. And this is steamed. The directions also provided um, an option to fry them, but I didn't want to do that. I think steaming is the way to go. Mm. Mm, it's really good. The wrapper isn't too thick. And this, the, the flavor of pork and shrimp is very subtle and by steaming it, you, you get a good way of capturing in the moistness and the heat inside without all the extra oils and the unnecessary water than if you were to boil. So I think steaming is the way to go. And it's really delicious. I think the flavors of the pork and the shrimp can be a little bit more pronounced, but if you're missing wonton or if you want to make a wonton soup, this would go absolutely perfectly with that. With the sauce, again, lake um which is sweet sauce, but sweet hoisin sauce, and uh, sriracha, which is spicy. Yeah, you can't go wrong. This is super delicious. I'd give it, um, if I'm gonna be harsh on the rating, because again, there's so many wontons that you can buy out there, I'll give it a seven. Just because I think there could be a little bit more in terms of complex flavors. But if you were to put it in a soup, you wouldn't need the complex flavors, and I probably would bump it up to an eight. So an eight for a soup, a seven if just eaten as is. Good, let's try the pancakes. I've been waiting for those. So the leek pancake is finally done. I mean, look at that. It's also kind of hot, so. But, oh my God, it does remind me of my childhood and You hear all that crunch? This is definitely my childhood. My mom used to cook this all the time. Now, I know it's greasy, but that's what makes it so good. And the leek, it just, it smells so freaking good. Wow. Definitely worth the 15 minute cook time. 
It would go great with some soy sauce. Even some sriracha or like I'm gay, hoisin sauce. But, God, this is a definite win. There's about four in a package. Um, I don't remember the, um, the exact amount as to what I paid for the package, but between the shiomai, the wonton, and the pancakes, no, none of the packages exceeded $10. And these are all very affordable, easy to cook at home. So crunchy. Mm, I give it um, an eight out of 10. Cause I think there could be a little bit more wheat. And it definitely tastes way better if it's like made and cooked fresh. But this is a great home option to eat if you're missing a little bit of this and you can't get fresh ones on the street. I mean, from the street in Asia, of course. Okay, ooh, I'm getting full. This is um, the fifth item that we're trying today from our grocery shopping. The green onion pancake. And as you can see, I didn't cook it as much to a crisp like the uh, leek pancake that I did, but it definitely is smelling good. And I think it's gonna be a little hot, so let me... Oh yeah, I can feel it. Ooh. This has a slightly different aromatic to it. It's a little bit more roasty. Soft on the inside. Wow, the, the smell of the green onions is great. Oh. Mm, a little hot. Oh man, that was delicious. I don't know if I would pick the leek over the green onion. I think both have a slightly different aromatic to it. I like leek just because it's what I ate when I was growing up, but the green onion, I don't think it was something that I had, but both vegetables when cooked, in, cooked inside the, the pancake is, is great. I mean, you can't go wrong with either one. I definitely give either one of them an eight, and I would definitely buy these again. I think if you're a big eater, you can eat one box alone, but that would be kind of heavy and you might need to take a nap afterwards and that's how I'm feeling right now because I've had probably two dozen dumplings and then now two of these pancakes. Well, I hope you enjoyed our samplings today. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to be notified when new videos come up every week and let us know what you'd like to have us try next time. Comment below. See you then.